everyone, welcome to Jess Outdoors, where we go over everything from how-tos to reviews. I'm Jess, and if you like snorkeling or diving, hit that subscribe button, because I'm going to be coming out with a whole playlist of where to go and how to have a successful adventure. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to snorkel and dive in the Hoya Cove. So smash that like button, and we'll dive right in. First, a couple things you need to know about La Jolla Cove is it is a protected area, which means no fishing or even taking seashells. The cove is a designated swim, snorkel, and dive area, and you cannot use any type of flotation devices. No life jackets, no boogie boards, surfboards, kayaks, nothing. So whoever's joining you, make sure they're a strong swimmer. For how to find La Jolla Cove, just type La Jolla Cove right into your GPS. It should take you right there. The cove is on Coast Boulevard, and if you can find parking on Coast Boulevard, you're in luck. Um, to do that, I would recommend definitely to go early, of course. If you don't go early, then, I mean, I wish you luck. And if you're a diver watching this, definitely drop off your stuff closer to the stairs maybe leave a buddy with your stuff, and then go find parking, because it would be a long walk with all that stuff. So as you're walking up to the cove, if you take the stairs on the right-hand side, there is a, a bit of a drop at the bottom, probably like around a foot and a half, maybe two. Um, might not seem like a lot, um, but if you're fully dressed in your scuba gear, it's definitely a little bit hard to get down. Um, I was there and I struggled with that a little bit. I had to give my GoPro to my sister and sit down and scooch my way off um, so I didn't just fall to the floor. But what I would have done differently the next time I go is go to the left hand side. Um, the step is still a little bit far, but it's definitely not as deep of a drop as the right hand side stairs. And as far as water temperature goes, I went in early September and the surface temperature was around 72 degrees and the bottom temperature um, at 22 feet was 67. I wore a seven millimeter wetsuit that day and it was around noon or 12.30, so it was pretty warm. Um, I would definitely try and wear a different wetsuit, like a thinner wetsuit if you have one um, and you're going that late in the day. If you're going at like six o'clock, probably a seven millimeter would be just fine. I just, I wore a seven millimeter and I didn't drop off my stuff at the cove prior to. I walked down with it, so I was pretty warm um, at that point. Another recommendation is go at low tide. The waves will be less strong and you'll have probably a better time in general. Um, even when I went at low tide, the current was still kind of strong. Um, not too bad, but especially diving, there was a strong like back and forth current, which is fine as long as you go with it. Um, and I recommend that you kick as the water is pushing you and as it's pushing you back, don't fight it. Just kick when the water is pushing you forward. In the cove, you'll see hundreds of bright orange Garibaldi fish, which is California's state ocean fish. You'll also see sea lions resting on the rocks on either side of the cove. And if you're lucky, they'll hop in for a swim with you. Um, I wouldn't approach them directly. If they swim up to you, that'll be a little bit different. Um, just remain calm and let them lead the interaction. Um, and just be safe. Also, if you're wondering what the smell is, there's it's also home to many pelicans. They make the area very fragrant, um, but it's not too bad. You won't notice it after a little while. Also, please don't wear sunscreen it, unless it's ocean friendly. Um, it's sensitive marine life and we wanna protect our ocean. And that way we can snorkel for years and years to come and actually see stuff. And if you're worried about getting sunburn, just put on a wetsuit or a rash guard. And another tip for you scuba divers, I would just go out and to the left and descend around 20 or 30 feet and just loop, explore that area and then loop back around uh, closer to the cove and towards the caves and 
back in. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you haven't seen my previous video about snorkeling in the marine room, you should check it out. There's some tips in there that I didn't go over today. Have a fun adventure. Let me know how it goes. Bye.